I I like the community that I'm in with the people with, that I know with schizophrenia and it's, you know, my life is very interesting now, but I would choose not to have schizophrenia just because growing up with it was so incredibly hard that I wish I didn't have to go through all of that. Schizophrenia has changed my life in so many hard and difficult ways, but I wouldn't change it. It's made me a more empathetic person because I can feel what other people are feeling sometimes that I never would have had an awareness of before. When it comes to talking about schizophrenia, I am very much in support of neurodiversity. I think that there's a lot that people with psychosis can offer to the world when it comes to uh, either in the workforce or in the classroom. And whether or not I would choose to have uh, schizophrenia, I think that's more of a question of uh, when it comes to my symptoms getting in the way of my everyday life. Do I want to be, you know, hallucinating clown 24-7? No. Uh, do I want to uh, have scattered thoughts when I'm trying to communicate something and people are looking at me as if I'm, you know, just sort of dismissing what I'm saying because I'm not able to get my thoughts across? Yeah, I, I wish that didn't happen. I like my life now. Schizophrenia, you know, it's just... When I was 18, around high school, when we stopped planning what we are going to do with our lives, I didn't want a normal life. And this is not a normal life. So I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, yes, I would choose not to have schizophrenia if I was given the choice. I think, I think that I've, I've come to a place where I've learned how to kind of make the best of it and to kind of see the positives that come with having schizophrenia. And so there's that side of things, but when it comes down to it, I would definitely decide not to have it if I could. I think that um, dealing with symptoms almost every day is really, really hard. And um, it's, it's brought a lot of instability at times to my life, which I wish wouldn't have been the case. And so, yeah, if I was given the choice, I would definitely choose not to have schizophrenia. This is a tough question. If I could choose not to have schizophrenia, I, it's a tough one. Um, I, I, I oscillate, I go back and forth between valuing the fact that this experience has given me a, a greater sense of identity and purpose, but also acknowledging that it is a very difficult path to live. And I certainly wouldn't you know, wish it upon any of my friends or loved ones or enemies. But for me at least, it has given me a sense of resiliency, a sense of identity, and a sense of purpose. There's times I wish I didn't have it, and there's also times where I know like, I wouldn't be doing the good work I'm doing today if it wasn't for it.